Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I'm going to be styling five end of winter looks, and the pieces are going to be very intermingled. I'm going to try and keep the like actual number of pieces used quite small, very capsule wardrobe-esque, and definitely a couple of day pieces, a couple of day looks, a couple of night looks, and you will definitely have seen a lot of these pieces before. They are some of my most reached for and hopefully very easy to <laughs> recreate. But anyways, if you guys want to see the five looks that I've come up with for end of winter, keep on watching. All right. Outfit one is very 90s maximalism, but you guys have seen pretty much every single one of these pieces and I've styled them honestly very similarly so many times before. This is just such a staple default look for me. So to start for base, skims, cotton jersey, long sleeve, in bone. These are my Aritzia ex-boyfriend jeans. These are the lighter wash ones that I have. I also have a darker wash. Aquazura, uh, and not really ankle boot, but kind of, I don't even know, suede boots, but they're very much like kind of cowboy-y. I've tucked it all in and probably should have done a better job, but we're giving like, I want to say it's like almost like Aspen, okay? If I had, what is it, a Kimosabe hat, I think is the store then yeah, I think this would just be like so Aspen core, it's unreal. Maybe like a fur coat on top, but then I have a Aritzia Babbitton Vogue blazer. This is one of the felted ones that they came out with a while ago and it has just been the best all season, well not really all season, but cooler weather blazer. And I would definitely just wear this underneath like a puffer jacket or something because it's still cold but the base of the outfit is so chic if you had like a tan belt or something which I don't because I have very limited accessories it's something I need to work on but yeah this is cool it is a kind of a it's a little bit more like western than normal but I think with the oversized blazer and the fitted kind of staple pieces it is very much like 90s still and I love it. It's just like a fun little twist on what I kind of normally wear. Outfit two is very date night. So I have my like older Gucci Mary Jane heels. You can't really see it, but anything, but I just like the Mary Janes for that support. So you can like speed walk in from the car or something, you know? Then these are redone jeans, high rise 70 boot cut, I believe is the style of them, but they're in black. This is a dish linen vest, it's pinstriped and then because of the pinstripe vest and the Gucci shoes, I was like, maybe I'll go a bit more mob wave with this kind of look. So I just grabbed a vintage fur coat. I just like yoinked this out of my mother's closet if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I did not purchase it. I do not own it, but I thought for the aesthetic purposes, a like big black fur faux fur coat is definitely the move. What do you think? Feel like falling deeper, cold on ice down the machine. Kids on the end of the game. Just on this hard and you should go. Give them an hour and go to. Okay, outfit number three. You guys have seen this top combo before if you've watched a couple of my other styling videos. It is a cropped weekender shirt from Aritzia. This is an old 
weekend jumper from Revolve, and then this is a Cairo mini skirt. Unfortunately, the skirt is discontinued, but it's just a very long, kind of like sheath tailored sort of skirt, and it has a slit at the back. And I've just paired it with Sambas. This, out of all of the outfits I've styled, is probably the one that I am most looking forward to wear when the weather gets a little bit nicer. It's just so cute, it's so easy, and like, maybe I'll actually bring this with me if I go to San Francisco before the end of winter, but I don't know, it's just easy, and definitely I feel like if it's a little bit colder, I could just switch this for like a long sleeve and have it kind of tucked in, and it's kind of perfection, I don't know. Honestly, don't even know what aesthetic this is. If I'm being honest, I want to like I kind of want to lean towards saying it's like '90s minimalism, but the shapes aren't really '90s. So I don't know, but it's definitely like with the tailored skirt and stuff, very much on brand to what I want my kind of overall aesthetic to be. Yeah. Okay, here is a definitely more casual outfit with this is a square neck bodysuit from Lululemon. It's one of the Wondermost ones. I think the color is River, if I'm not mistaken. Then I've paired it with another kind of grayish color. This is the Canberra, uh, RSC by Babington Canberra sweater cardigan. Oh my gosh, my brain. And then I've just paired it with some split hem light wash denim and sambas. The jeans are EB denim. I'll have everything linked below. This is very casual and it's definitely kind of of everything I've styled so far. I'm like the like I'm less excited about this. When I wore this top in San Francisco I think maybe it's just the jeans. I wore it with baggier jeans and I really liked how it looked but pairing it with these more like micro flare like they're skinny and then they flare out I don't know, I'm, I don't know, but it's still cute. But yeah, I don't know. It's definitely one of the more basic outfits that I've worn, but I still like it. I would definitely wear it, but I probably would just change the jeans out if I'm being honest. controversial one. This is outfit five and it's peplum. Okay, I know the millennials are gonna be like, no, no more peplum, but I really like this shirt. I think it is so, like it just, it's feminine, it's flirty, it does kind of like give corset bustier sort of vibes, but it's got the little peplum, it's very much more like soft, feminine kind of touches and I paired it with basic jeans and some heels for a cute little date night look and I really love it. those are all the looks I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one